Good morning, anatomy students. Um, today is our demo for the respiratory system and endocrine system instructions. And in front of me, I have already reflected back the side muscles of the mink. Um, there's a separate video to watch if you have questions about how to um, move those muscles back. Basically, you're going to be taking a central cut down the middle and then creating flaps as you cut to the side. Um, once that's done, you should be able to very gently clean. Um, you don't want to damage any of the other structures. Um, there are things we need to maintain for other parts of the lab. Um, the first thing it asks you to do is to locate the larynx. Um, that's going to be up here at the neck of the mink. And actually, one good way to recognize where it is at is actually by feel. You can feel those tough cartilaginous rings in there, um, it's even more firm than the trachea. Um, so here's the ribbed trachea. Obviously, um, I've already cut a piece right there. You can see where I made that um, little snip. Um, I actually didn't remove any, although it did shrink back a bit. Um, so you can follow the trachea down. It is going to branch um, into the left and right um, lobes of the lung. And one of the things it asks you to try is to insert a drinking straw. So we are going to try this. Um, get a clean drinking straw. And please do not touch the end of it that's going to touch your mouth with your minky gloves. Um, you're going to place the, drink, the trachea and the drinking straw together. Um, in this case, the trachea fits nicely inside the drinking straw. But if you had a larger mink, um, maybe vice versa. So you will fit that cleanly together and only blow into the drinking straw. Do not um, inhale because um, you might ingest some of that preservative solution and that would be bad. Um, so I'm not going to show you what happens because I want it to be a surprise when you see it on your own mink. Um, step number two asks us to locate the esophagus. We do not want to cut the esophagus. We want to keep it intact for when we study the digestive system. Um, it's going to be back behind the trachea. It's this smooth, um, flat tube of muscle. And yes, it is a tube. Food can pass through that tube um, on down into the stomach. But right now, there's nothing in it, so it's flat. So please make sure that you're not damaging the esophagus. We're going to separate it out. The esophagus actually continues to run on down underneath, back behind the lungs. And we're going to separate it out all the way down until it passes through into the abdomen. So follow that all the way down and clean it out so that you won't be damaging it. Number three. Three asks you to locate the thymus on either side of the trachea and extending over the heart. So down here we have the heart. It's going to be in between the two lungs. And this is the thymus. Now, the picture in your lab manual on page 57 shows it as sort of a whitish yellow. Here, its uh, preserved color is this brownish pink. So it's still going to be the same shape. So you can look for that shape. And it'll be in between the lungs and over the heart. I've already removed, I've already cut mine out. So you can just gently, once you have cut down in here and trimmed, remove that um, and follow instructions on uh, what you need to do there. Um, it says up towards the head of the mink, in the neck, underneath the musculature. So up here towards the head. It's actually almost even with the ear openings. You're going to find this sort of oval-shaped white gland. And this one is the thyroid. So we're also going to be, again, I've already done it, um, trimming underneath to remove the thyroid gland. There's my little thyroid. So you will set that aside um, and follow the further instructions on investigating that. Um, number five, the diaphragm is located just above the liver. So the diaphragm is right here. It's a band of muscle that's going to separate the thorax and the abdomen. And um, it runs all the way to the back. Oh, excuse my hand. There we go. Um, so we're going to locate that. Um, number six, it says carefully cut the left and right lobes of the lungs from the bronchi with your dissecting scissors. So you're going to, again, we've already separated out under here to find the esophagus. You're going to come around back and trim away there. The thing you want to be cautious of is not to damage the heart during this process. Um, we want to keep the heart intact for um, later investigations. 
Um, then number seven asks us with a scalpel make a 0.5 centimeter cross section of one of the lobes. Now when you do this you're going to be exceptionally careful. Um, scalpels are very sharp, more sharp than the scissors. Um, so when you do this you're going to make a very thin cross section with your sharp scalpel and you're going to place that into a petri dish to look at under the dissecting microscope. Um, when you do that there's your little cross section. You don't need much. You see right there, the amount that I have there um, is enough for us to be able to look at under the microscope. So we'll take a look at that under the dissecting scope and record your observations. Um, the last thing it asks you to do is to look at the prepared slide of the lung and we're going to make some comparisons. Um, those are the instructions for the respiratory system and endocrine system investigation.